Welcome guys. I was playing around and I wanted to put a little shine to my uh, text. So this is what I came up with and how to do it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get your font, get your text the way you want it. And then what I'm going to do because I'm on the free version is I'm going to download this. And then I'm going to come over to my background remover. Because a little, little thing goes here. Come on, give me a solid, baby. Give me a solid. All right, and now we're going to put it in here. So I don't know what this is really call, called. I call it a reverse background remove because what I want to do is I want to restore all the black parts. So I'm going to go in here like so. I'm going to come around here like so. This is pretty intuitive on this site, so hopefully it'll do pretty good. Let's see what it does. All right, so it got most of my black back in. So what I want to do is I want to make this bigger and reduce my brush stroke size and try to get into these little spots here that it missed and just go beep. Beep. Get in here in the K and get this little beep here. All right, and then we'll get into the E and get that right there. Okay, so now your picture looks like it's almost back to normal, right? It's back to normal like it was before it started, right? So here's the other part. Now we want to remove the interior. So we want to move all the interior. So what I'm making technically is like a mask. So as you can see now, that's the transparent part. So I want to download that, download that image, and then I want to come back over here to my project I'm working on. I want to delete my text here, and then I want to put this back up here. So now you can see it. It has a little outline to it, and I will show you how to get that off. So this is going to be your mask right here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to come over to your elements. And what I found, because I wanted something that shined. So I found this element. It is a glowing dynamic blue arc shape. So we're going to take this and we are going to crop it. So we want to crop it. So it, we just wanted to have this piece of it. We want to make a straight piece of it. So I'm going to crop it down like so, so I can get that glow, and that's what I'm going to do. And then the second thing I'm going to do after I get that is I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to flip that horizontal, and then what I'm going to do is match those two up, and I am going to use my arrow keys and bump it over till it's seamless. And that is what I want to do there. Oh, hold on, let's move this out the way. Nope, 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 nope. Let's move this out the way because it make it easier group for me. Oh, top of me. Group these two together. And then what I want to do now is I want to make it a square. Oh, a square. And then, come on, a square. And then what I want to do is I want to match this color here. So I'm going to go on my square, get my color picker out. It already has some colors here. But we'll just use the color picker for people that haven't used the color picker before. And pick the color. And then what I want to do is I want to make it a little bit darker than my shine. So what I'm going to do is keep going down here till I kind of get the color I want to achieve to go underneath. So what I want to do now is I want to make that across here. And I want to send this to back. So I want to send this back. Like so. And then I want to put, oops, I want to put this over top.
So this needs to go position layers. So what we want to do is you can move your layers this way. So what I want it to do, I want it to be here. And I want this behind here. So now I have my layers the way I want them. So I'm going to take my mask and open this up. Now, if you want to just use this text, you can go and take a background remover. It'll have to be a video or a GIF background remover and remove the background and it'll just have your text in whatever color you want to. Or if you're just using black and a color, then you can do any, anything you want to. And that element here, this element right here, you can also go into if you want to, if you click on it, you can go into color mix. Oh, it's not putting that one. You can go into color mix or duotone and change the colors of your little uh, light bar that you've made. So now that we have our light ball bar complete, what we want to do is we want to move it over and we want to go into animate. If you're animating group elements, what you would like to do is always go into position first and then hit animate because sometimes it will grab one of the elements versus the whole group when you go to animate. So just a tip there. So the next thing we want to do is I want to hit the shift key and I want to go all the way across. And for some reason, animation is not animating. So let's go there. Let's go back to the beginning. I, when I make my tutorials, if you've watched any of my stuff, I show you all the boo-boos. We are all human. We all make mistakes and we all have problems when we're creating. And I'm going to show you what my problems are when I do do it. So... Because I learn, you learn, we all learn together. So here we go. We will try again. Uh, hold on. Let me a little. Always grab from the inside. Don't grab from the outside. That's probably my mistake there. So I'm going to animate. I'm going to hit my shift key. I'm going to grab it from the inside. There we go. There's my line. So here's another little bonus tip too. And then I want to smooth it out and I want to speed it up. So there goes your shimmer. And that's how you do your shimmer. Another bonus tip too, when you're using animation, if you do any text, and I will show you this real quick, like let's uh, do, let's do text to something looks like that's got a couple lines to it. Let's just go here and Go da 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 and you want to come off like you're going up and you want to go off and then come up or, and go across. If you don't have that square inside of this, it will not grab it. So just this is really unrelated to this, but this is a bonus tip while I'm thinking about it. Always leave a space right here. That way when you move it down and go to animate. See now when you animate, you can drag it up. If you don't do that and you and your box is like right here on your edge because you don't want any of your text showing, the problem with that's going to be is it won't grab it because you're trying to grab it from outside of your page. It will not grab it. So you do not want to do that. And that's your little bonus tip for the day and I thank you. I hope you make beautiful things and hopefully I'll see you on the next time. Peace, love, happiness. Bye.